गुड इवनिंग वेलकम विवेक गुड इवनिंग विष्णु गुड इवनिंग दीक्षा गुड इवनिंग विधि वेलकम वेलकम टू माई सेशन आय दीक्षा great diksha thank you so much how are you diksha how are you ya yeah, vidhi your rainbow i miss your rainbow hi simran hi likita good evening welcome to my session guys good evening hi abhimanyu good evening welcome दीक्षा टेंशन करने से कोई प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व नहीं होती है ये लेक्चर्स और ये सब चीजें सभी बोलते होंगे राइट ओके सिमरन टुडे वी हैव द सेशन ऑन आरसी सो पोल है आपका बिकॉज आई टोल्ड यू इन द लास्ट वीक आई विल बी टेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ आरसी सेशंस राइट बट डे आफ्टर टुमारो एट फाइव पी there will be a para jumble sentence rearrangement class and on 31st again at 5 pm there will be para summary question class so aap mera jo schedule hai mera time table mere dashboard pe check kariyega you can find it here on anacademy app my schedule yeah okay so you can join me but then at 6:10 we are going to have the rc sessions because as i told you that in the last week i'll be covering a lot of reading comprehension passages good evening shail bala welcome carrying an albatross around my neck which is exactly the burden carried by us Abhimanyu, what is what do you mean by an albatross? Shelbala, I'm great. I'm absolutely good. Shelbala, how are you? Hi, Anusha. Yeah, Simran, very good. Albatross is the name of a bird. Yes, albatross is the name of a bird. A Greek Greek bird. Yeah. it's a sea bird very good simran very good the poem which you must have read i have read about it abhimanyu long time back i have hi ayushi good evening welcome to my session ya yeah, simran you must have read it quite recently that's why you remember simran right isliye aapko yaad hai Good evening Ayushi The rhyme of ancient something Ancient mariner Mariner Yeah right Yes yes that was a nice very nice poem and we have we read it in our school days school i mean school time we have read that so long time back simran aapne 2 saal pehle padhi hai maine bahut saal pehle padhi hai hi shambhu hi deepanch good evening welcome to my session okay diksha corona is uh, like in my city is still it's 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 a risk i mean it's still uh, the pe uh, people are in perilous condition they are in perilous condition so not good because people are not following the precautions they are not taking precautions and every day is becoming a very normal day for them they are just moving out of their houses for no work or no reason so 
that's it's not good not good hi somya good evening welcome to my session i guess somya you are new here so i welcome you anusha i am from rajasthan state hi saurav thank you deeksha and please you guys also take care take precautions be safe stay home please go out only when it is required abhimanyu hall of rajasthan hi saurav hi shweta good evening welcome to my session i'm good shweta i'm good thank you so much how are you shweta so abhimanyu hum pehle bharatwasi hain fir hum kisi prant ke hain theek hai to pehle hum rajasthan wasi hain फिर हम किसी सिटी के हैं या श्वेता गुड गुड वेरी गुड आई एम गुड श्वेता राइट अभिमन्यु राइट हाय तीरथ पटेल गुड इवनिंग आई गेस यू आर न्यू हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन माय सेशन सो आई वेलकम यू तीरथ हाँ सब भारतवासी इंडियन ही तो हुए ना विवेक आई यूज द हिंदी वर्ड इन द इंग्लिश सेशन बट देन भारतवासी इज इंडियन ओनली यस आई एम एन इंडियन फर्स्ट आई एम एन इंडियन फर्स्ट एंड देन आई बिलोंग टू सम स्टेट और सम सिटी ओके so let's start with a session and i let me welcome all of you once again on india's largest learning platform which is an academy plus so we are here to crack uh, management exams english and crack cat 2020 so let's crack it thank you shweta thank you so much so why uh, an academy plus is considered to be india's leading learning platform so you get the advantages which are so many that you don't get it any at any other learning platform you get to attend the daily live classes शैलबाला आप लोग हैं इसलिए यू ऑल मेक मी हैप्पी तो यू ऑल आर द रीजन फॉर माय हैप्पीनेस यू ब्रिंग स्माइल दिस स्माइल व्हिच इवन आई मिस एट टाइम्स यू ऑल ब्रिंग दैट स्माइल ऑन माय फेस सो दीक्षा द रीजन इज यू ऑल थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू गाइस okay so you get to attend the daily live classes here and you can chat with your educator you can get engage i mean you engage with your educator get your doubts your problems solved you also get to attend the test live tests and quizzes which keeps you on the edge it makes you uh, uh see and check out and uh, keep your performance on track you get a structured course okay abhimanyu which ma'am are you talking about yeah vishnu happy learning happy learning okay so you get structured courses here which with the help of your educators who are the best and the top most on an academy plus so there are courses with the from uh, the top most and the best educators who provide their lectures their sessions in a very curated manner and make and the sessions are very simplified and they are very easy for the learners to understand now the sessions here 
they comprise of the full batch course the crash course the marathon courses special classes plus classes and to name there are many okay now what are the other advantages that we get to uh, find at an academy so there are there is the sessions here are taken in more than 12 other language more than 12 other languages it's not that only english or hindi or a bilingual but then you can opt for uh, the language of your choice also the schedule rightly works for you which lecture today you teach ma'am so Tirith, i am taking rc's reading comprehension we'll be doing today okay you can get your doubts cleared you can interact with your educator you also get to attend the live polls which uh, makes you understand where your performance where are you really standing okay the all the sessions that you have attended or you uh, have uh, been taking here at an academy plus all the types of courses the sessions the mocks the tests quizzes puzzles etc etc so you for all these you get a detailed report and an anal analysis from an academy plus now if you want to go in for a 12 month course which is only for 1,113 1, per month this is what you have to pay per month guys for 12 months and it's quite worth this price is worth for one year cat course as you will be getting a 10 percent discount but you need to use my referral code if you want to avail the 10 percent discount and my code is spsumati and if you want to go in for a 24 months course then you just have to pay 780 eight per month that's all for two years and you would be getting a 10 percent discount only if you are using my code which is spsumati so guys what are we waiting for let's go for it let's take up one year or a two-year course and let's go for making our dreams come true and our dream is cat right now so let's crack it so i am sumati sharma your cat varc educator here on an academy plus i'm a postgraduate in art stream i have got an experience of being into education sector from past over 20 years i worked as principal and vice principal in many renowned schools of Rajasthan. I have taught thousands of CAT aspirants both offline and online. So I have also taken up CAT VARC batches at Time Institute. I have also got an experience of teaching students social studies and English from grade 9 to 12. And many students who are pursuing for MAT, BBA, BCA, CLAT, etc. I'm a lover of adventure sports. I love to take up challenges in life. I'm a marathoner, I'm a cyclist, and I'm a tennis lover. My telegram link is t.me slash Sumati Sharma. You can also find me on Facebook with my page on my page with the name Sumati Sharma An Academy. Okay, Tirath, you are in 11 standard. Very good. So, Tirath, up An Academy pe ya cat ke session me. How come? May I know, please? Hi, Mukesh. Hi, Anubhav. Good evening and welcome. Anubhav, not me. Aap bhoat din baad aaye hain. Tirat, are you... I hope you got my question, Tirat. Oh, very good, very good. 
Very nice. No, but Mukesh, he wants to learn. And that is amazing. So can we all show a thumbs up for Tirath, please? All thumbs up for Tirath. Very good. I like this spirit, Tirath, and keep it up. Keep it up. Ek din aap cat topper zarur banenge. Zarur cat top karenge aap. Okay? Chaliye. So on YouTube, Sumati Sharma on Academy, and you need to use my code to subscribe me for getting 10% discount, which is S-P-S-U-M-A-T-I. Please use my code and subscribe me and uh, you will get a 10% discount on my subscription. All right. Okay, so let's move on and today is our second session, in fact, third session on RC. First session, I have you some tricks or tips or some strategies to solve RCs, right? Today, and then I took the first session, today is second and now at 6.10 till 31st, I'll be taking RCs only. So you guys can really have, you know, your all your doubts and a good practice on RCs, right? Chalye, so let's start with the first question. I will be reading it out to you. Now please pay attention and note down few key elements or the value points because the passages are, you know, quite lengthy. And then question ke baad passage pe aana wapas is. So please pay attention. Alright. Vivek clear nahi hai. Clear screen clear nahi hai aap long ko. Is my screen visible to all of you? Hi Rahul. Good evening. Yeah. So Vivek please check your internet connection. Hi Deepak. Good evening. Welcome to my session. All right. So, let me begin. As formal organizations, business corporations are distinguished by their particular goals, which include maximization of profits, growth and survival. Providing goods and services is a means to this end. The following statement from the board of directors of the 3M company is exemplary in this regard. The objective of the 3M company is to produce quality goods and services that are useful and needed by the public, acceptable to the public and in the best interest of global economy and thereby to earn a profit which is essential to the perpetuation of the useful role of the company. These goals provide the raison d'etre, raison d'etre, and ultimate ethical values of the 3M company. If, for example, a number of individuals, outsiders or even insiders, believe that a company's aggressive marketing of infant formula in third world countries is morally wrong. The company is unlikely to be moved by arguments based on ethos alone as long as it is doing remains profitable. But if those opposed to the company's practice organize a highly effective boycott of the company's products, their moral views will soon enter into the company's deliberations indirectly as limiting operating conditions. They can, at this point, no more be ignored than a prohibitive increase in the cost of certain raw materials. Although the concepts and categories of ethics may be applied to the conduct of corporations, there are important differences between the values and principles underlying corporate behavior and those underlying the actions of most individuals. As individuals, we are often concerned with integrity, autonomy and responsibility even when they cannot be shown to further 
a basic goal such as overall happiness. We regard them as important and valuable in themselves and not simply as a means to some other more basic end. If corporations are by their nature end or goal directed, how can they acknowledge acts as wrong in and of themselves? Is it possible to hold one criminally responsible for acts that if performed by a human person would result in criminal liability? The first case of this type to achieve widespread public attention was the attempt to prosecute the Ford Motor Company for manslaughter as the result of alleged negligent or reckless decision making concerning the safety engineering of the Pinto vehicle. Although the defendant corporation and its officers were found innocent after trial, the case can serve as an exemplar for our purposes. In essence, the prosecution in this case attempted to show that the corporation had produced and distributed a vehicle that was known to be defective at the time of production and sale and that even after a great deal of additional information accumulated regarding the nature of the problems, the corporation took no action to correct them. The obvious non-corporate analogy would be the prosecution of a person who was driving a car with brakes known to be faulty, who does not have them repaired because it would cost too much and who kills someone when the brakes eventually fail and the car does not stop in time. Such cases involving individuals are prosecuted and won regularly. If corporations have no concept of right or wrong, because they are exclusively goal-directed, can they be convicted in cases of this type? And what purpose would be served by such a conviction? Perhaps we can make a utilitarian argument for convicting corporations of such crimes. The argument would be that of deterrence, conviction and punishment would deter other corporations from taking similar actions under similar circumstances. However, there appears to be considerable evidence that deterrence does not work on corporations, even if arguably it works on individuals. The possibility of being discovered and the potential magnitude of the fine merely become more data to be included in the analysis of limiting conditions. All right. And now the questions. So you will be having six questions here. I will be starting your poll. I'm reading out the first question and then I'll give you one minute to read and I'll start the poll. A claim that things have ethical value to corporations only so far as they are instrumental in furthering the ultimate goals of the corporation is necessarily true given the information presented in the passage, perhaps true and supported by information presented in the passage, perhaps true but not supported by any information in the passage, necessarily false given the information presented in the passage. And I'm starting. Shall I start the poll? Okay. So there you go. Deepak, Anubhav, Simran, Vivek, Swara, Dev, Vishnu, Vidhi. Very good guys. Aap log awesome hai. You are amazing. Likita, please check your internet connection. Hi, Soumya Jain. Good evening. Welcome to my session, Soumya. Very good. 79% have given the correct answer. So just see here. Shweta, 
Anusha, Deepak, Anubhav, Simran, Vivek, Swara, Dev, Vishnu, Vidhi and many more. Absolutely correct. Your option is perhaps true and supported by the information presented in the passage. Question number two. In the context of the author's reference to an organized body of people united in a belief and their subsequent action, the phrase limiting operation conditions in line 22 refers primarily to the factors that will adversely impact a company's profit-making capacity, the prevailing moral opinions of the public concerning a company's products, the availability of raw materials necessary for producing a particular good, the difficulty a company's officers have in trying to ignore ethical issues. And I shall start your poll now. Anubhav, Dev, Likita, Vidhi, very good. Very good. Deepak, doesn't matter. Next time. Koi baat ne. Great. Anubhav, you've taken the lead. Dev, Vidhi, very good. Likita, Anusha, Shweta, Deepak, Simran, Vivek, Swara and many more. Yes. So the phrase limiting operating conditions referred to the factors that will adversely impact a company's profit making capacity. The availability of raw materials necessary for producing a particular good. What is the phrase in line 22? Limiting operating conditions. Limiting operating conditions. Shweta, the phrase limiting operating conditions in line 22 refers to availability of raw materials is nowhere connecting with this. Okay. Chale, question number three. Implicit in Implicit in the authors. Now you are seeing these inference based questions. Hai. This is an inference based passage and the questions are all inference based. Okay, so this is a typical type of inference. You should read them Implicit in the author's discussion of whether or not a corporation can be convicted in cases like the one involving the Pinto vehicle is the assumption that most corporations have committed both moral and legal transgressions. A corporation has an identity above and beyond its individual members. Few corporate persons will question their corporation's actions. Corporations do not always believe that the end justifies the means. And your poll starts now. Shweta, very good. Simran, Vivek, Likita, Ayush, Vidhi, Shambhu, good guys. You are doing a very good job. You bought Inference passage hai, it's a difficult passage aur aap usko bhoat achche se attempt kar rahe hai aap log. Haan, difficult hai, Deepak, that is difficult. That's what I'm saying. Aapke questions, inference based hai is mein saare. But you are, you all are doing a good job. Vidhi, Likita, Shweta, C, Simran, Anubha, Vivek, Dev, Anusha. Deepak Swara, very good. Can I see some boosters, please? Isi baat pe. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. So, your question number three and your option was correct. A corporation 
B. A corporation has an identity above and beyond its individual members. Question 4. If a company that produced shampoo products opted to stop the routine testing of its products on animals because it decided that it is wrong to cause the animal's pain, what effect would this have on the argument made in the passage? A. It would strongly support the argument. <coughs> it would support the argument somewhat but not conclusively. It would neither support nor substantially weaken the argument or it would substantially weaken the argument. And your poll starts now. Hi Shahid Latif, good evening and welcome to my session. Shweta, very good. Ayushi, Vidhi, aapke RCs mein bahut sahi answers aare hain Vidhi, very good. Ab to you must be very happy Vidhi. Very good Shahid. Yeah. So let me see that rainbow. Rainbow kuch shayad effect kar raha hai, right? Rainbow se farak pad raha hai, Vidhi? Okay. So Vidhi, Shweta, very good. Vidhi, you have taken the lead. Yeah. So always be positive, guys. Be positive. Vidhi, itte time se she was not feeling good. Mere answers correct nahi aara hai. Mera poll sahi nahi ja raha hai. And now see, she has taken the lead here. So guys, believe in yourself. Have faith in yourself. And a lot of hard work never ever fails. Okay? So keep up that spirit. Right. So hum, amara question number four and your option is definitely it would substantially weaken the argument. Your D option. Dev, ma'am, please tell what is the main argument. Dev, you must have missed the... Actually, Dev, were you there in the passage? The argument is if it's... This argument is this, if shampoo products... If they are... For the shampoo products, if we stop testing the animals... So, and we decide that it is wrong to cause animals pain... What effect will this have on the passage? The passage was about the B3 company, which was a motor vehicle company, right? And this would definitely, if we will stop testing, so motor vehicle company, if they, if they would stop testing, they would weaken all their authenticity and all their rules, right? Okay. And question number five, the author's analogy of the alleged actions of the Ford Motor Company to those of a person who knowingly drives with faulty brakes suggests that Ford should have been convicted of the crime of manslaughter in the trial. You're welcome, Dave. Welcome. The Ford Corporation was capable of understanding the moral concepts of right and wrong. The problem with the safety engineering of the Pinto had to do specifically with its brakes. Ford may have ignored the Pinto's defects because they would be too costly to correct. I'm starting your poll now. Hi, Sanya. Welcome to my session. Good evening. Quite a less number are giving the correct answer. Very less. 15%. Doesn't matter, Shweta. Next time. So, aapka leaderboard nahi aaya. Anyway, so the author's analogy of the alleged act. 
actions, alleged actions of Ford Motor Company to those of a person, to those of a person who knowingly drive with faulty brakes suggests that Ford may have ignored the Pinto's defects because they would be too costly to correct. Okay, D option. Question 6. Which of the following assertions would most strengthen the author's claim that deterrence will not work on corporations? Now, what do you mean by deterrence? Deterrence means prevention. Okay? Prevention. So, the authors claim that deterrence will not work on corporation or prevention. So, the possibility of punishment does not deter many individuals from committing crimes. The penalties imposed on companies have amounted to small fraction of their profits. Strict anti-pollution laws have cut down on the waste dumped by companies into rivers. The trial of a corporation is often extended over a period of several years. And I shall start your poll now. Anubhav, Vivek, Likita, good guys, very good. Vidhi, very good. Vidhi, rainbow. Poll just stopped working. No, it has not stopped working. Simran, check out your internet connection. And here's the leaderboard. Vidhi, Anubhav, Likita, Shweta, Vivek, Simran. Dev, Ayushi, Anusha and Deepak. No, Vidhi, it's yours and mine both. We, aap or hum, ek saath hai, right? So, question number six, aapka option bilkul sahi hai. The penalties imposed on companies have amounted to a small fraction of their profits. That is B. This is the correct option. Right. Or ab hum aate hain second passage pe. Okay. I'm reading out. Please pay attention. Jaise aapne first passage pe dhyan se meir ko suna tha. Aur itne achche se answer di hai. Vaisi sunye ga. Deepak ma'am. Aad jain late kiya is liye. Aad join late kiya is liye paragraph samaj. Okay Deepak. Chaliye ye naya paragraph hai. Okay. I am reading it out to you. Please pay attention. Alright. Few ideas are more deeply entrenched in our political culture than that of impending ecological doom. Beginning in 1962, when Rachel Carson warned that pollution was a threat to all human and animal life on the planet, Pessimistic appraisals of the health of the environment have been issued with increasing urgency. And yet, thanks in large part to her warnings, a powerful political movement was born and a series of landmark environmental bills became law. These laws and their equivalents in Western Europe along with a vast array of private efforts spurred by environmental consciousness that Carson helped raise have been a stunning success in both the United States and Europe where environmental trends are for the most part positive and environmental regulations far from being burdensome and expensive have proved to be strikingly effective have cost less than was anticipated and have made the economies of the countries that have put them into effect stronger, not weaker. In recent years, several worrisome environmental trends have either declined from their peak or ended altogether. The amount of household trash 
dumped in landfills, for example, has been diminishing since the late 1980s when recycling began to take hold. Recycling, which was a fringe idea a decade ago, is now a major growth industry and is converting more than 20% of America's municipal waste into useful products. Despite startup problems, many municipal recycling programs now pay for themselves. Emissions of chlorofluorocarbons, which deplete the ozone layer, have been declining since 1987. Studies now suggest that ozone layer replenishment may begin within a decade. Dozens of American cities once dumped raw sludge into the ocean. This category of pollution passed into history in 1992 when the final load of New York City sludge slithered off a barge imaginatively named Spring Brook. Today, instead of being dumped into the ocean, municipal sludge is either disposed of in regulated landfills or increasingly put to good use as fertilizer. America's record of protecting species threatened with extinction, which is often depicted as dismal, is in truth enviable. Since 1973, when the Endangered Species Act took effect, seven animal species in North America have disappeared. Several hundred others once considered certain to die out continue to exist in the wild. A number of species including the bald eagle and the arctic peregrine falcon have been or are being taken off the priority protection list. It's true, of course, that some environmental programs are muddled. For instance, the Endangered Species Act can have the unfair effect of penalizing landholders who discover rare creatures on their property by prohibiting use of the land. In the main, though conservation has been an excellent investment, environmental initiatives worked well even in their early years when they were driven by top heavy federal edicts. They work even better as new regulations have centered on market mechanisms and voluntary choice. New acid rain reductions, for example, are being achieved at unexpectedly affordable rates, thanks to a free market program under which companies trade pollution, allowances with each other, Western market economies excel at producing what they are asked to produce and increasingly the market is being asked to produce conservation. Consider some of what has been accomplished in this country thanks to legislation, technical advances and lawsuits that have forced polluters to pay liability costs. America's air and water are getting cleaner, forests are expanding, many other environmental indicators are on the upswing. Right. Nevertheless, the vocabulary of environmentalism has continued to be dominated by images of futility, crisis and decline. Nor are environmentalists the only people reluctant to acknowledge the good news. Advocates at both ends of the political spectrum, each side for its reasons, seem to have tacitly agreed to play it down. The left is afraid of the environmental good news because it undercuts stylish pessimism. The right is afraid of the good news because it shows that governmental regulations might occasionally amount to something other than wickedness, incarnate and actually produce benefits at an affordable cost. 
All right. So here comes your question number one. For which of the following claims does the passage provide some supporting evidence or explanation? Environmental good news undercuts stylish, stylish pessimism. The vocabulary of environmentalists is dominated by images of doom. Environmental regulations in Europe have proven to be strikingly effective. Environmental initiatives have worked when centered on market mechanisms. And your poll starts now. Good evening, Bubbly Singh and Sumit Kumar. Welcome to my session. Poll did not come up, guys. Anyway, for which of the following claims does the passage provide some supporting evidence or explanation? So the environmental initiatives, D option, जो बहुत कम लोगों ने जवाब दिया. Doom मतलब finish, fall. Doom is completely destroyed, completely devastated, finished. Right? Okay, so your D option, environmental initiatives have worked when centered on market mechanisms. This is what the question is asking you, supporting evidence or explanation. So it has centered, it has worked on market mechanisms. This is what your paragraph is saying. Question number two coming up, suppose that current models of automobiles emit an average of 80% less pollution per mile than was emitted by cars in 1970. How would this information affect the author's main point? It would support the claim. It would refute the claim. It would support the claim if it was shown that the emissions reductions were a consequence of environmental bills. It would support the claim if it was shown that emissions reductions were not a consequence of environmental bills. And your poll starts now. Very good. Anubha, Anusha, Vivek, Shweta. Ayushi Agarwal, Vishnu, Swara, Vidhi, very good guys. That is very nice. 67% are giving the correct answer. Good. Vidhi, you are taking the lead today. Aaj aap te thaan liye, right? Very good. To all of you, to all of you and especially to Vidhi because she has really come up well. So all thumbs up for Vidhi, right? Can we have thumbs up for Vidhi, please? Great, great. Awesome. And you're correct? option is it would it would support the claim if it was shown that emissions reductions were a consequence of environmental bills so your c option great question number 3 which of the following statements is false as it pertains to the information given in the passage chlorofluorocarbons no longer damage the ozone layer. Technical advances have contributed to conservation. Raw sludge is no longer a source of ocean pollution for the United States. 
recycling has had an impact on landfill dumping. Your poll starts now. Deepak, Vivek, Anubhav, Mukesh, Shelbala, very good Shelbala, Likita, Swara, Vidhi. Seventy one percent are given the correct answer. Very good. Yeah, Shelbala, just wait for a minute. Pertains, Ayushi, pertains means related to, related to, okay. So you can see there on the leaderboard, very good. And definitely your A option, chloro, chlorocarbons no longer damage the ozone layer, okay. This is, this statement is false as it is pertains, it relates to the information given in the passage. Okay. Yeah, Vidhi is on top. Question number four. Based on information in the passage, each of the following statements is a plausible explanation of why pessimistic appraisals of the environment continue to be issued except Except environmentalists and politicians are unaware of the successes of the movement. An immense amount of work still needs to be done to save the, envi save the environment. Optimistic evaluations would have unwanted political repercussions. Environmentalists garner support by arousing concerns and fears. And their goes your poll. Deepak, Mukesh, Vivek, Ayushi, Vidhi. Right. Great. So, Vidhi, aaj party banti hai. Okay? Aaj party banti hai, Vidhi. Okay. Good evening, Dev. Welcome to my session. Thanks for joining. Welcome, Dev. So, your answer to question number four is accept. The question is asking, it is, each statement is plausible explanation of why pessimistic appraisals of environment, all these, they are possible explanation why pessimistic appraisal of environment continue to be issued except for one option. Or who kaun sa option hai? Environmentalists and politicians are unaware of the successes of the movement. This is, which is, stating this. All the others are pessimistic appraisals of environment. Okay? Very good, Vidhi. Keep on doing that. Keep on doing that. Very good. Question number five. According to the passage, each of the following is most likely to be true about the impact of the Endangered Species Act on the overall number of animal species in America. A. The Endangered Species Act has caused the number of species to increase gradually. The Endangered Species <coughs> Act has caused the number of species to rebound markedly. The Endangered Species Act has slowed the decline in the number of species. The Endangered Species Act has had no significant effect on the number of species. 
I'm starting your poll now. Mukesh, Anusha, Kiran, Ayushi, Swara, Vidhi, private number. There's some private number also with the name. So welcome private number to my session. See your name there on the board. Yeah, Shelbala, we must. She is going very strong. And she practices her RCs very religiously. That's what she's saying. I practice RC regular. So guys, we should learn something from right? Okay. Your question number five is definitely the endangered species. Option C. The endangered species act has slowed the decline in the number of species. Hi Karthik Rajput. Good evening and welcome to my session. It is just about uh, to get over Karthik. You have joined me very late. Please join me every day. I go live at 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. and then 6 10 p.m. to 7 10 p.m. every day. Please join me. Deepak, yeah, practice it. You're welcome, Vidhi. God bless you. Okay, let's move on to our next question, which is question number six. The head of the Environmental Protection Agency recently gave a series of speeches pointing out that there were many signs of environmental progress in America. Which of the following best characterizes the relevance of this to the passage? It supports the claim that efforts at environmental reform have been costly but effective. It weakens the claim that efforts at environmental reform have been costly but effective. It supports the claim that the vocabulary of environmentalism is dominated by images of futility. It weakens the claim that the vocabulary of environmentalism is dominated by images of futility. And I am starting your poll now. Okay, your poll did not come up. Sorry, guys. So, the head of the Environmental Protection Agency recently gave a series of speeches pointing out there were many signs of environmental progress in America. Which of the following best characterizes relevance of this to the passage? Your option D, it weakens the claim that vocabulary of environmentalism is dominated by images of futility. Futility ka matlab hota hai useless, uselessness. Futile is useless. Futility is uselessness. Okay, so your option D is the correct answer here. Question 7. If the claims made in the passage are correct, how would politicians on the political right be expected to react to America's program to protect endangered species from extinction? They would extol it because its success is not attributable to governmental regulation. They would extol it because its success refutes the pessimistic claims of political left. 
They would criticize it because its success was due to costly regulations. They would criticize it because it has not shown any measurable success. I am starting your poll now. Very less. Shweta, Vidhi, Likhita, very good guys, very good. No Mukesh. Right. Your answer is C. They would criticize it because its success was due to costly regulations. That is the answer. Question number eight. To which of the following hypothetical congressional actions would the author probably lend the most support based on the information in the passage? Establishing a subcommittee that would be devoted to environmental issue, streamlining the efficient bureaucracies that arose during environmental reform, passing legislation that makes anti-pollution regulations difficult to enforce, passing bills that encourage rather than coerce industries to control pollution. Your poll starts now. Wow. 60% have given the correct answer. Very good. Akhilesh Krishna, good evening. Welcome to my session, but you have joined very late. My session is about to get over, guys. Please join me at 5 p.m. and at 6, 10 p.m. every day. Ashwini Sai, please join me at 5 p.m. and at 6 p.m. every day. You have joined me quite late. My session is just about to get over, right? So guys, your option three is the correct answer. Passing legislation that makes anti-pollution regulation difficult to enforce. Nine, the existence of which of the following phenomena would most strongly challenge the information in the passage? A speech by a senator who takes credit for saving his state's environment? A species of animal that has disappeared in past year? Prediction by environmental that the ozone layer problem will worsen? A recycling program that is supported by federal funds and your poll starts now. Akhilesh, it's reading RC, RC passages. We are doing RC. Right, sorry, the poll did not come up and the correct answer is A, a speech by a senator who takes credit for saving his state's environment. Uh, basic Akhilesh ho gaya hai. This was the pass, this was specially the inference based. So first passage jo tha, wo inference based tha. Okay, tomorrow again, I have my RC session at 6, 10 p.m. Right, so please join me guys. I would be taking your leave. I'll be signing off. So thank you all. And awesome and a very big round of applause for everyone who did a very good, who made a very good attempt. So God bless you. Thank you so much. Be safe and happy learning. Bye guys.